Hey gang, Matteo here, and you're watching me unbox the Pittsburgh, aka Harbor Freight Portable Tire Changer. Now, if you look to the right, you can see a little mini Harbor Freight Tire Changer. I originally went into this video uh, with the premise that I would uh, pit these two pieces of equipment against one another and use them for changing the tires on my side by side. However, the mini tire changer proved to be incompatible with the wheels on my side by side in that it was too small. It could not accommodate the hub opening and therefore my original idea for this video was dead in the water uh, right out of the gate. So I decided to really focus on making a video about the Harbor Freight tire changer, the uh, full size one. And here we are. So what I'm doing right now, the, this piece of machinery comes with a base. It's three pieces of metal that kind of form like a cross pattern. And I don't know about you, but that, <laughs> the, the tool also gives you the option to mount it to a concrete slab. And seeing as how I'm not a sadist, I decided right out of the gate, that's what I was gonna do. I've got a history with this tool. Uh, I had the red version back in the day and I used it to change tires on my truck before and whatnot. So uh, I really kind of already have some experience with it. My hammer drill, put some holes in the floor here. I've got some concrete anchors that are gonna go in. And what this does is it really gives the tool a firm footing to the ground when you're wrapping on these tires and uh, whatnot. So I highly recommend doing it this way. I've never tried it with the portable base, uh, nor would I want to. And the anchors I got were a little bit larger. They were 5 eighths, and that was just too big for the holes. So I'm just making those holes a little bit bigger. This would be an avoidable situation if I had got smaller anchors, smaller diameter anchors. All right, everything looks like it's gonna fit properly. A few washers and nuts and we're gonna be in business here. And now she blows. Too bad. Once I figured out a couple techniques here, I'm gonna shove my first beat on. Right. Just a little spray soap. It's not gonna go very far. Actually, that's okay. I'll take it as far as she goes. 
Sounds like a little freaky, man. Right? Thank you everyone for watching. Final thoughts on this. Uh, I wish it was more of a shootout. Sadly, the mini tire changer was just not the right tool for this job. If you're interested in purchasing that, I would only use it for, you know, smaller tires, go-kart, smaller ATV tires, um, lawnmower tires. That's what that's better suited for. So check the specs on that from Harbor Freight's website. Um, for those applications, it's great, nice tool to have around. Uh, but in this case, we needed the full-size tire changer. And thankfully, once I dialed everything in on that, it was pretty easy to use. These tires were stiff sidewall. They put up a little bit of a fight. I've mounted light truck tires with this machine before. Here again, it was, it's a bit of a struggle. You gotta put your elbow grease into it. You gotta put some effort in, but it, it will get the job done. It's much cheaper than a, a pneumatic tire machine, but for the <laughs> if I was changing tires every day, though, uh, I would have to say a pneumatic tire machine is really where it's at. So, for the weekend warrior uh, who wants to save a few dollars on a uh, tire change for an off-road machine, something like that, uh, this machine gets the job done. Just be ready to eat your Wheaties and. 
uh, work for it. You're gonna have to work for it a little bit. But here again, uh, good good machine. And I, I can't imagine anyone using this thing with the portable base. I wouldn't even have made this video doing that. It'd be pure comedy. I would definitely recommend Anchory this thing down to something solid of concrete slab even if you had to pour something in the yard somewhere a big slab to work uh, it would be well worth it i would definitely not have tried wrestling this thing with that little base but here again if you've done that and you got a video i'd love to see it <laughs> i really would all right well Till next time, hey, uh, now that I got these tires done, I'm gonna make a video shoot, comparing the uh, the side-by-side, -side, the stock Maxxis Bighorn tires, Bighorn 2.0s, I think, with the Super ATV Intimidator tires. So if that's your thing, go check that video out. If you enjoy this video, feel free, like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me I'm a dumbass for doing it this way. I wanna hear it, give it to me. Until next time, Matty O, out.